Yay! We are back. Sorry about that. My streaming program decided it wanted to crash. Anyway, we were looking at... This. I just printed it out, but... Of course, I was also laughing. I'm not sure if it even made it on the stream, but... I was laughing because, hey, look, it's Two Face. <laughs> Sorry. I'm being bad again. <laughs> I just printed all that out. But basically, what I'm doing for this. You'll notice this is that section, this is that section, this is that section. It's a whole lot of mess, but I'm gonna try a little something new. Instead of using these and cutting exactly on each of these lines, I'm gonna use these as a base, glue them up, and then do a new technique that I learned recently from a man called Ted Haynes. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Stan Winston School. Uh, StanWinstonSchool.com is Stan Winston was the guy behind Predator, uh, Alien. Uh, uh, they're now Legacy Effects, which does all the Marvel movies like the Iron Man suits and whatnot. Um, but Ted Haynes is one of their foam fabricators, uh, the kind of guy who can make big humongous sets of armor or body suits or creatures in just a few days and have them have a nice amount of detail but only making them with foam and making them very quickly. Uh, if you haven't already I highly suggest uh, getting on to the Stan Winston School's website and their uh, classes and tutorials and whatnot because they're absolutely worth it. But uh, one of the ones that's on there, one of the lessons that's on there uh, was Ted Haynes decides to make them a giant dinosaur. Yeah, a giant dinosaur. Why? Because he can. Uh, let me pull up the page here. James, stop! Gosh, my computer's going to be slow the whole time, but I'll get that loaded and let you know. Uh, but it's really, really cool how he does it. Uh, he basically starts with L200 foam as, as a base, as the skull, as it were. Uh, and then he builds up on top of that in, in using upholstery foam. Uh, kind of like how Stephen K. Smith props, SKS props, is making his orc right now. Uh, he made a bodysuit using upholstery foam uh, for, for each of the pieces. I let that load and load and load and load and load. Hopefully I'm still getting to you guys. Uh, but yeah, this big gigantic dinosaur head that he made entirely out of foam. Ah, oh, stupid computer. Uh, I'll see if I can post a link to it. But seriously, look up Ted Haynes Foam Fabricator. Uh, as I do this Krogan head, I am totally going to be... Uh, using a lot of his methods for it. It's still going to be the more solid foam for the crests and whatnot, but the face, it's going to be a basic face, but then the build-ups, like you can see all the bumps and whatnot here for the actual details, where the lips are, 
Uh, there's little bumps in here for the nostrils, uh, around the eyelids. I don't know if I'm going to make the eyelids blink at all, but I would like to make the mouth blink. And a blink. The mouth actually talk when I talk. So that's going to be the hope. Crossing fingers. This is. So here's the San Winston School website. You can see the Terminator over here, the Navi over here from uh, Avatar, the good one. <laughs> All right. You go into their on demand web courses here. Yeah, all sorts of lessons absolutely worth it it does cost money but it is absolutely worth it there's so much information here less than you would pay if you went to a school to learn this all these things like a sci-fi helmet with the vacuum form machine make a dinosaur by Ted Haynes Let's start here. Preview web course. Make sure this doesn't auto play. Uh, if you can see the picture on the right here. Again, a reminder, I had a really crappy computer. See, it's things like this. This is a raptor suit for, it, for, the, for the test for when they did the Jurassic Park movies. You go in here, you got... He starts with a drawing, he makes the shape out of foam. I'm not a very good sculptor, so I didn't do that. Makes them in the big size. You can see the big piece of foam we've got here. Got the teeth. And then you can see him start to add on the extra details. All these little bumps here, that's all the upholstery foam that he's using for, for the skin and the build up and all of that. And then when he paints it, it looks like this. And that's how big it is. 
<laughs> you guys thought Threshy was big. This is exactly how uh, I'm, I'm going to be updating Threshy. I'm, I don't have time to make a whole new one, but I'm going to use Threshy as a base and use this same technique to make Threshy look a lot better. You can see the skin texture here that he's got. And that's all using upholstery foam on top of on top of uh, L two hundred foam. It's going to be that same basic concept, only on a much smaller scale. And and the big hope is to be able to to uh, get enough animation in the face at least with the mouth opening and closing kind of like how Commander Holly uh, when, when she made grunt they, they made a foam latex face and they put armatures inside that could open and close the mouth and they had little electronics to blink the eyes I'm not gonna go that far I don't think but I'd at least like to have in a, a mouth so that's gonna be the really fun part and that's why I printed out all of these papers. So I'm going to use these as a base to start that shape. Uh, I'm going to doodle around them so I have a proper template to use. But I'm going to go through and then just build it up as I go. So that's going to be really exciting. And, and then, like I said, I'll document all of that over on my Facebook page. So be sure to go and like that over there. Uh, links to that are at the, at the bottom of this live stream video here. Uh, if you want to upload this to YouTube, it'll also be linked there. Uh, you can follow me at com as well. Uh, and then what else do I have listed up there? Oh, yes. Don't forget, I've got my Patreon going as well. There's a picture of Threshy there. So it can be done. That's 17 feet long. This part at the back here was made by Kila Monster. The part at the front and the claws, that's all me. But I've got a Patreon going that you guys can check out. Uh, if, if you love seeing more live streams, if, if, if you want to see uh, more quick tip videos, I used to do a series of quick tip videos uh, I, I, I try to post them once a week uh, I've, I, I, I also want to be doing the live streams more uh, more Q&A sessions things like that so if you guys want to see more of that happen patreon will definitely help that be more available uh, it's also mostly just to keep the lights on keep things going so, yeah, just check out at patreon.com slash ascension props or just search for ascension props on, on Patreon. Uh, like I said, you can follow me on Facebook all the time. Send me messages there. Uh, I, I, I try to respond as quickly as possible. But anyway, it is lunchtime for me and my son. So if you guys don't have any other questions, I think I'm going to call it a day for the stream. I'll clean some of this stuff up and see if anybody pops on. I know I've still got Liz of Anxious there. I want to give a shout out to you for being here the whole time. Sticking through. Good night from Denmark, Liz. From uh, It's been really fun chatting with you. Sorry the stream cut out a couple of times. Lanuska, thank you for coming by, even though I wasn't here for much longer after you got on. 
Uh, you guys from Europe, one day I'll visit you guys. It'll be awesome. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I, I think I'm pretty much going to call it a, a day. So if you have any other questions, like I said, send them over to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash ascension props. Hopefully I won't have my son being quite so loud next time. <laughs> loud and annoying. Annoying. <laughs> anyway, once again, thank you guys. Once again, thanks for sticking with me, and I'll see you next time. Now go build something, or go to sleep, if it's that late. I'll see you guys.